All right, here we go. I'm judging your setups yet again on Discord. This time I'm doing it live. This is originally broadcast live on the Workhorse Twitch channel. Feel free to follow there if you like. And we're just gonna dive in. There are no requirements for this episode. It can be a good setup. It could be a crappy setup. I don't care. Anything goes. So let's just dive in, see what you guys got. Before we continue, special thanks to Keeps for sponsoring today's video. When it comes to treating men's hair loss, Keeps is the leading name that's proven effective for millions of their customers around the world. Two out of three men experience some form of hair loss by the time they're 35. But since Keeps offers the best solution for keeping as much of your hair as possible, you don't have to worry about becoming another statistic. With Keeps, you can even meet with a doctor online and have products sent to your doorstep every three months for utmost convenience and discretion. Right now, Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA-approved hair loss products around, which makes them safe, effective, and affordable. It's best to act now if you want the best chance of saving the most hair possible since it can take up to six months to see results. If you're not ready for your hair to go just yet, go to keeps.com bitwit or click on the link in the description below to receive 50% off your first order. Thanks again to Keeps for sponsoring this one. Now back to the main video. Akumati. I, aku, aku, akumati. What, whatever. What do you think? Uh, PC, Ryzen 5, 5600X, and Sapphire RX 580, both overclocked. Got fifth in the world on 3D Mark for my specs. Nice. Aorus B550 Elite, AXV2 motherboard, and 2TB to Seagate and RAID, 512GB NVMe Sabrent Rocket, Arcit Arctic RGB AIO, 16 gigs, 3600 CL16, and custom keyboard. Nice. Okay, let's just let's just take a look at the, uh, the PC first. All right, not the best photo in the world, if I'm being honest. Can't really really see too much here. I, I guess you can. I guess you can at this at this size uh, of the image. But um, I like I like the Arctic AIO. I like the minimal RGB. It's not too overwhelming. But I do feel like there could be just a smidge more. It's a little bit one-sided. You kind of got LEDs at the top with the fans and, and your RAM. A little bit on the GPU. But I feel like you should get an identical fan, like one of these, another one of these fans put it right here at the back of the case. Or you could just buy three RGB fans or however many RGB fans and just swap all the fans out in your case for, for those. Uh, RGB, I think, would be a good move. But you know, from what I can tell here, uh, and for the record, when you guys submit pictures of your PCs to me, I don't know if this goes for other YouTubers that do this type of content, but side panels off because it just, it, it makes it a lot clearer. It's like I'm looking through a cloud, you know, and you always get reflections and stuff. They're not that bad on this one, but just for future reference, now you know. Uh, but I was gonna say, from what I can tell, cable management looks pretty solid here, all right? You've got uh, your 24 pin ATX, nice and tidy, as well as the PCIe cables. I can't even really tell what's going on with your GPU cables, but I, I don't see anything messy, all right? And it looks like, you know, you've got your your your, your fan cable here kind of hanging out a little bit. I feel like that could be tucked in, tucked away a little bit better. Maybe, is there any way that you could go up, you know, in between the fan and the the cover shield of your of your uh, rear I.O. on the board, and then maybe back behind the motherboard tray, and the, but maybe it won't reach. Maybe you don't have uh, fan headers close enough for that. But at any rate, pretty solid build from what I can see here. And uh, your specs sound pretty good and well-balanced as well. So that's that's A plus, A plus, sir. Let's take a look at your actual setup though. Oh, I kind of like this uh, this brick wallpaper. It's it definitely, it's a vibe. It's a total vibe. Um, nice, nice clock, nice clock here. Uh, definitely sets the mood. And if we're looking at the desk here, pretty clean overall. Not a, not a whole lot of clutter. Looks very organized and minimalistic. We can see here that you've got a Corsair 4000D. 4,000 something um, or another, one of their newer cases. Looks really nice. I like the the sort of like white and black aesthetic. Kind of also blends in with like the, the monochromatic wallpaper that you have. You have a single monitor here. Any any consideration of a second display? Cause I feel like you have enough room on here for a second display. It would sort of, well, for one, be really good. It, it's always nice to have multiple monitors if you can swing it. And you definitely can with, with the given space that you have on this desk. I think that'd be a smart move. If you did go that route, I would suggest like an ergo stand maybe a single monitor mount that can that can house or can, can uh, fit two screens on it. That would be pretty slick. You could wall mount them as well. That would be even slicker. Although I don't know if you want to drill any holes into this this nice wallpaper and, and wall, uh, but that is an option. It would also fill out the space on your desk because I just feel like there's a lot of unused space. Like you've got room. You've clearly got room for a second monitor, so might as well use it. And if you do, if, if, if it gets too cramped with, with both of them side by side uh, in a horizontal position, then you can maybe orient one of them vertically. And that would uh, definitely free up sp some space there. Your peripherals look good. I like the large Corsair mouse mat, uh, the desk mat, that looks really nice. Are these coasters? I'm assuming these are coasters. Cable management is also on point for the most part. Um, I don't see any, you know, 
anything super out of place. You've got, uh, you know, some cables running down the leg of your desk, which is which is fine. I'm not gonna complain there. Nice boom arm for your microphone. I don't know if you stream or if this is just for like Discord, chatting with your buddies and stuff, but it looks really nice and tidy. And uh, you know, at least you have your, your headphones on this boom arm. You know, maybe you could get like a little hook underneath your desk. I always recommend that for, for this kind of thing. Um, it's just a really nice home. It, it just provides a nice home for your headset or headphones, but even the headphones match. Like it, this was well thought out. Everything looks very um, thoughtful and planned, intentional. Uh, you're a camera guy, you've got a camera and some, some glass there. Very nice, very nice setup. I also like the RGB behind your desk and the fact that it matches the RGB that's going on inside of your system. I think that's also, you know, attention to detail, little little details like that really add up. Uh, maybe update your lamp. What is this like, I don't know, like the, I don't know, the long lost twin of the Pixar lamp? And why is he why is he just shooting? It looks like he, he needs a posture check, you know? He looks kind of like he's got scoliosis. What's up with that? Is this just like mood lighting to just blast on the wall? Maybe it is, maybe it, maybe it's to like, well, I don't see a webcam anywhere, so I don't know why you would need to light up your, your face, but uh, maybe, maybe update your lamp. Looks a little dated. I'm just nitpicking here because overall the setup looks really clean and I, I dig it. Well, well done. Nice, nice job. Aku, Akumati, Akumati, whatever. Lyle's cousin Niall. Oh God, oh God. I'm, I'm really, I'm really glad Lyle doesn't have a cousin named Niall. Horrifying name and a horrifying thought. Hey, this is a month or two old. I have a new phone now, two S10 plus and a wireless charger other than it's the same. I'm a 17 year old that just graduated high school, going to college as a comp sci major, a lot of work arguing and begging has got me here and there's a lot of stuff here and it's a pretty good deal. So let's break it down. But about HP Pavilion, 15.6 inch gaming laptop, 2020 Ryzen 5 4600H. Okay, specs of the laptop. All right, monitor, Acer and peripherals and stuff. Uh, also, there are some super cheap uh, headphones. Wow, you really went all out with the description. Damn, damn boy. Uh, there was also a few cardboard boxes holding things up on the right and old laptop cases, uh, laptops and cases for the tech on the go. Um, the setup is mostly used for school and some gaming. I did some cable management, but I also still want to get my power cable for my laptop when I have to go because it's a gaming laptop, I might buy a second power. Uh, any recommendations would help, he says. All right, is this the only picture? Huh, interesting. You have like a, an entire essay, but only one one photo of, of your entire setup. That's fine, it's, it's okay. Uh, I actually have this exact same desk. I got it on Amazon not too long ago. Uh, it's a pretty good desk for, for how cheap it is. Oh, it's slightly different. It's got these shelves. Mine doesn't have it. Yours is better than mine. You suck. All right, so this is interesting. I'm gonna open this up into a bigger image. Woo, is that too big? All right, we've got uh, a, a nice gaming laptop here and it's raised, it's elevated. So you're kind of matching it up with the height of your main display, which is this Acer right here. So that's good, you know, it, it's, it makes it a little bit more eye level and matched up. Not quite there, but it's better than nothing for sure. And you even have like a little uh, holder, or a little stand for your phone as a tiny little companion monitor. I'm not sure what you put on there when you're actually using it, if it's if it's actually functional or if it's just there for a display. Um, but uh, overall, this is a pretty clean looking setup. It looks a little cluttered, particularly on this side. You know, you've got, uh, I, I guess it doesn't look too bad. I think it's maybe just because it's such a small setup. So everything feels a bit more more cluttered. I think particularly like on here on the bench and over here, there's just, it's kind of messy. But you know, you're, you're a student. You said you, this is kind of used for gaming and school. So I, I remember when I was a student, I was just, you know, my, my area looked half this clean. So props to you for that. You know, I got to give you some credit there. You get your backpack and some school stuff. Lego, what is this? Is that your... I don't know what that is. It says Lego though. But cable management looks pretty good. Again, if, if we had more photos from different angles, I'd be able to tell exactly what's going on there. But from here, cable management looks much better than I thought it would considering how much stuff you have connected. Uh, the fact that you've got, anytime you have a laptop connected to a setup like this, like a desk setup, I feel like there's just like a cluster of wires going to and from the laptop. Uh, and it, it's, it's very hard to keep clean, at least in my experience, but it looks pretty tidy over here, honestly. So good job on that. You definitely still like live with your parents. This, <clears throat> this wallpaper and this bench and stuff indicate that, you know, you're at home with mom and dad or whatever, and that's fine. You know, maybe you can't trick out your your space as, as much as you'd like, uh, and that's that's fine. You know, it's just a, a product of your circumstances, but I think you've managed to do a pretty good job given what you have here. You know, it's a very small desk. Like I said, I have one very similar to this, and I know how, how tiny it is, but- It's normal size and fully- Functional. I'm wondering, do you game on, I would imagine you game on the Acer 
display and not on the laptop display, right? I think that would make sense. It's much bigger, probably better quality overall, but it's also off to the right. I don't know how ergonomic that is. I feel like it might make more sense to have the display front and center, you know, so you don't have to like crane your neck while you're gaming or whatever, and then have the, the laptop off to the side, basically switch positions. But it really just depends. I don't know, maybe maybe you do game on the laptop screen, I'm not sure. So uh, overall though, pretty nice. You know, it's it's fairly void of, of RGB, which isn't a bad thing. In fact, that, that's a good thing to some people. So not gonna knock you for that at all. Just a personal preference. Um, what else? You've got a gaming chair. That's that's nice. That's gonna increase your FPS and make you better at, at shooting people. And you do have a space for your, like your controller, like your game. I see some game pads down here with your headset. You know, I can't tell if the headset's just kind of resting on on the uh, the desk itself, like this this leg, or if there's an actual hook there. But at least it's not on your desk. You know, it, it looks pretty well put away and stuff out of sight, out of mind. Nice little USB hub here. That's, you know, it's a full house, full house of USB sticks there. Lots of pens, gotta have pens. Clearly a student. I haven't used a pen in ages, apart from when I'm signing checks. This but overall, pretty good setup. Pretty good setup, man. It, it's simple, AF. it's clean, you know? Unreal. It looks like you keep your floor pretty clean too. Doesn't look dusty and everything's fairly organized for, you know, for being 17. Did you say you were 17? Yeah, I was not, I was definitely not this organized at 17. So I can't really knock you for anything there. But thank you very much, Lyle's cousin, Niall. God, I just, I hate that name so much. Oh, here we go. Lyle, Lyle's cousin, Niall. Now you post all the pictures and stuff. All right, still really good cable management on the back there. And okay, we get a, a better shot. Yeah, this could be cleaned up a little bit, you know? You could actually make this more like part of the setup, like decorative in a way. If you just cleaned up all this crap, you don't need an Amazon Prime box here, whatever this is. Maybe put like, I don't know, whatever you like. Some, like a figurine a figurine on each shelf or some kind of statue sculpture, maybe some books, you know, organized in a, in a cool, fashionable way. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not an interior decorator. Ryan 750, Ryzen 7 3800X for the Win 3 RTX 3070, Seasonic A50 Watt PSU, 32 gigs, 3600, CL16 Crucial Ballistics, 1.5 terabyte NVMe storage. And this looks like it is just a photo of a system. All right, got another Corsair here, 4000D maybe. I, I always get them confused. They're, they all blend together now. 4000D, 5, it's not a 5000D, I don't think. At any rate, a uh, nice kind of vaporwave color scheme here with the pink and teal. This is my jam. I feel like I feel like you just changed it to these colors when you took this photo before you submitted it because you're you're trying to trying to pander to me. It's totally working. It's totally working. Very nice. I love the fact that you vertically mounted the GPU, especially with just how this cooler looks. It's very, you know, it's got this really large prominent RGB kind of area and uh, with the EVGA logo. It's a nice looking cooler. Did you, is this like a white edition? Did you spray paint this? I, I wasn't aware that EVGA made a white version of, of this card, but maybe they do and I just live under a rock. At any rate, it looks really nice. Um, lots of lighting going on here and the, and the lighting is evenly spaced out. You've got lighting in all pockets, in all corners of the build, which I think just, you know, levels things out and looks very balanced. Okay, one thing I would say is if you wanted to get super matched up, you could get another one of these Corsair fans, these Corsair our LED fans. I think this is what, like ML? This is an ML120? This is a maglev probably that comes with this cooler. Uh, maybe get one, one more of these, slap it to the back of this case so it's all matched up and do the same thing for any front fans that you have if, if those aren't already the same as these. Nice cable management, beautiful cable management actually. Um, you have uh, really nice sleeved cables. Not sure if you sleeve those yourself, or if you bought them from like Ensource or another third party, but they look really good. Trained super nicely. And there's, I don't really see a cable out of sight, you know? It looks it looks really good from this angle. And that is pretty much all I have to say. I think you did a bang up job. Uh, this one cable here, I will say, okay. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta critique one thing at least. This cable, what is this? Is this from one of your fans that for some reason you just didn't route the other way? What's going on here? The fact that it's a white interior, this case has a white interior and this is a black cable, it's just very obvious. And now now that it's now that I've noticed it, I cannot unsee it. It's sticking out like a sore thumb. And I hate this build. You should throw it away. It's a piece of garbage. It sucks. Temp Vo. Here's my setup. What do you think? P.S. I'm getting acoustic foam for walls and ceiling and getting two 144 hertz gaming monitors curved. Also, I do Twitch streams at, uh, I also have a 55 inch TV on the wall to the right of the PC. I use a I-shaped desk or L-shaped desk and sit in a PewDiePie chair. I have the colors set to orange for Halloween. Ah, very festive. I wanna say thanks for rating my setup. It makes me very happy. Oh, 
Don't, you've spoken too soon. I'm about to rip you a new one, Tempo. Okay, so this is the build. Once again, side, why is the side panel on? Take the side panels off when you send me pictures of your rigs. Come on, people. Come on, because now I can't tell is like, is your PC really dirty and dusty or is that just the side panel? You know, hard to tell. Cable management seems a little wacky. Would you agree chat? Seems a little wacky. Like 24 pin ATX cables just going way all the way down here. You've got your unused PCIe cable, your connector just hanging out, pretty much tapping on the glass of your side panel. And this is, this looks like a decent enough case that has adequate cable management. It's got a PSU shroud. There's there's no no real excuse here. You gotta, you gotta use those grommets a little bit better. You paid for them after all, unless you got this case for free for some reason. There is a sort of orange and red color scheme here, maybe going for a fiery theme, some kind of ember flame aesthetic, not sure. But uh, red fans at the front, they're all mounted as intake, that looks good. And then you've got two fans, these look like 140s on your AIO, on your Corsair uh, radiator here. And they are set to intake, no, they're set to exhaust, sorry, I'm, I'm done. What I would suggest is do some testing. Flip these fans around and make them intakes and see if that how that affects your temperatures, particularly on your CPU and your graphics card. Because right now I feel like all the air that's coming in from your front fans is just kind of being sucked in by these two fans and just going right out the side of your case. And that doesn't really give the air an opportunity to reach your graphics card. I'm sure some of it's hitting it, you know, definitely, but it just seems like not the most optimal path for airflow, if I'm being honest. If you flip these as intakes, you would have even more air coming in from the front and, and front side of your case in order to aid in, in GPU thermals. Okay, that's more of a, a picture of your shelf with a bunch of pop figurines and more, more Punko Fops. Where is the, you don't have a actual, this is all we get for, from your setup? That's it? Bruh, you gotta aim your camera a little bit lower next time and then off to the, into the right. It's okay, it's okay. Um, nice looking build though, you know, ha definitely has a lot of potential. You're almost there. Some quick fixes and some TLC with cable management will get you, will get you places. And uh, maybe you can submit uh, an actual picture of your setup later. Before we continue, this video is brought to you by the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 240 ARGB. Experience the same award-winning PWM pump of the original Liquid Freezer 2, now with new addressable RGB high static pressure fans. The pump features ultra low noise and power consumption and pairs with a 38 mm thick radiator sporting a high fin density. Thoughtfully engineered and aggressively priced, the Liquid Freezer 2 240 ARGB is a reliable choice for cooling your CPU. Click on the link below to learn more. The raw view, been changing computer like every six months, so yeah, but 3070 Ti right now with 32 gigs of RAM, 5900X, nine terabytes of SSD storage, do video work, makes sense. 43 inch, uh, 32 inch, 43 inch screens, use WinDock to snap windows correctly. Custom desk deep enough, I can extend my legs without hitting the wall. That's importante, muy importante. Oh, okay, all right. This, like, I don't know, like you can immediately tell this is a content creator's desk. Right, I think uh, there's a certain level of finesse to it, organization and artsiness to it. Looks a little artsy. You got the bookshelf speakers elevated on these nice little stands. Although you're drinking a Miller Lite, which I do not approve of, as the Achilles heel of this entire setup. You do have a boom arm though, which is nice. Custom keyboard it looks like, nice peripherals. And your monitor configuration looks pretty sweet, I will say. You've got this, it's kind of interesting though. You've got this really small or seemingly small monitor right here in the middle and then these large format displays on either side. I feel like generally speaking, you either see identically sized monitors if they're oriented this way, or if anything, the one in the middle is, is the largest one. You've got smaller companion monitors on the side, kind of the opposite here. But if it works for you, it works. And I think it looks really nice. You've got the bezels kind of pretty much closed together. There's not a whole lot of panel gap or bezel gap. You know, I appreciate that. And overall, it looks very, uh, it looks very clean, you know? It, there's not much clutter on here at all. You've got a few controls, uh, maybe some audio mixers here on this little elevated uh, stand. And it, it looks pretty good. I wish the lighting was a little better and I wish maybe the boom, boom pole wasn't in the way so I could get a better look at what's behind here. RGB lighting or at least some kind of lighting is going on behind your displays. Maybe just this one. I'm not sure, maybe there's a lamp just behind here to give you a bit of back glow, but if that is the case, then you can easily get some cheap RGB strips. Govi makes some really good ones for behind your monitor or, or TV, whatever display, if you really wanted to sync it up and make it look a little bit more uniform. That would also create a more even spread of lighting across from left to right, as opposed to just uh, 
heavy handed on the right side here and not much illumination going on on the left. Cable management looks good here though. You know, I don't see many cables drooping down from your monitors. I see maybe a, a sign of a cable here, but overall looks pretty good. Are these wall mounted? I can't tell if these monitors are actually wall mounted or if you're using like an ergo stand that is kind of, you know, floating them up. Either way, very clean setup. I'm sure you get a lot of good work done here and it looks like a comfortable place to be. Uh, he just confirmed they are wall mounted. Good to know, looks really nice. Why not uh, wall mount that middle monitor as well? Unless you're planning to swap it out soon. All right. Right, big guns gaming and tech. All right, no context here, just some photographs. Let's take a look at the PC first. Ayo, custom loop, full custom loop with the CPU and the GPU. This is a nice looking system. Fantex, very nice. Fantex, Fantex, Fantex. Fantastic. Corsair hardware, at least for the GPU. You've got a Corsair GPU block and uh, EK for the reservoir. Looks like an EK water block on the CPU. Soft tubing, nice little drain port here. Good color scheme. Red and black, got some silver accents in there. It looks really nice. What is this ball? Oh, that's, is that like a BB-8 type of dude? I know that's probably not exactly BB-8, but maybe one of those Star Wars droids. Looks good, man. Cable management, pretty good, pretty good. You know, 24 pin, all the main cables are, are looking good. I feel like the training could be a little better. Let me actually open this up. Ah. Uh... I don't know, like like these are kind of crossing, you know, your PCA cables are crossing. I'm just nitpicking here because this is a really nice system. I'm trying to find things wrong with it. Overall though, it looks good. Uh, there is this cable coming off of your, what? What is this, your water block? It's probably maybe an RGB cable or something. I'm not sure. It looks like a splitter though. It's, it's definitely splitting. Maybe it's just a fan splitter. Maybe there's a fan header here and you're connecting two fans to it. At any rate, it's, it's kind of obfuscating the IO cover of your motherboard, which I feel like this is just a really easy fix. Just shove it down and don't make it go in front of the nice RGB lighting on the board. Fans look good. Buy another one of these fans, put it at the back. Obviously you'd want it to be the same size, 140. You don't want to sacrifice any airflow as a result of it. But I think uh, matching those fans up is always a good thing. Maybe top off your reservoir, looking a little low, suffering from a little bit of evaporation there. All normal, but I would say top it off. Just, it looks better. You don't get that foggy condensation going on. Maybe it could use a quick dusting. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad, but I do see a, a little bit of dust here. Very nice system. Any plans to hardline at some point? I think this build would, would do fantastic with uh, with PET or something similar. If you do, please resubmit so we can maybe have a fun little before and after. Is there, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was so busy reading. Okay, so you've got these two monitors here. Looks like you do a little bit of streaming, webcam, mini, uh, Stream Deck Mini. Look at these cute little speakers, how adorable. What are those, do those pump out anything? Can you even hear them? Looks like you got a K95, RGB Platinum, and another Corsair mouse. Wave 3 microphone, very nice mic, and your desk look, looks pretty clean, you know? Not uh, not too shabby in terms of cable management. Well, cable management could be tidied up a little bit. And maybe you should get one of those, um, you know, the cable foreskins, the single cable foreskin to just wrap all of your PC cables up with and then run it down behind your desk so it just looks like a single large cable instead of like half a dozen cables coming out from behind your system. Definitely cleans things up a bit. Find a place for your, your gamepad if you don't have one, and at least you have a stand for your headset. That's good. Nice. Nice setup, nice build. Excelente. Agatsuma Zenitsu. My first PC build. A5, A510, Strix B450F, Ryzen 9 3900X, NZXT Kraken X53, For the Win 3, RTX 3060 Ti, Vengeance Pro RGB 3200, 1TB Samsung 970. Ignore my cables. Omega lol, I just moved in and don't have any runners, but I have IKEA under desk racks in my shopping cart. Controller lives in the top drawer of my desk and is charging off front IO. That USB cable doesn't stay there. All right. Um, again, with the side panels. Gosh, it's with the side panels. Come on, people. Nice system though. Really clean build. From this angle, it looks super fresh. Digging the color scheme, digging the vibe. I like the, I like your cables. I like the pattern on both of them. I like how they, you kind of went with a different pattern for your ATX cable versus PCIe cables. I think it looks really good. It works well together and cable management looks good. All your fans match. That's a plot. That's, look at how nice that looks. All the, all the fans are matched. Even though these are like probably cheaper RGB fan. Still looks so much better than if they were all mismatched. Nice job there, but don't put the side panel on next time. All right, so you just moved. So that means we should cut you a break, right? Not. What is this garbage? No, I'm just kidding. Shout out to Mountain Dew. Uh, let's see here. Two monitors, looks good. Just 
barely enough desk space to fit both of these displays on here as well as your PC, but at least you got the PC on the desk. I've seen desks bigger than this where people still had their rigs on the floor. It's a disgrace, people are going to hell, but not you, I've been saved by the PC gods. I really like the, uh, the boom arm and the microphone here. This is a nice HyperX uh, mic that is also glowing red as if it's burning hot, but it matches so well, it matches nicely with everything else. That's a great thing about like black and red setups, like red is the most popular color for you know PC hardware so it's really easy to match up everything perfectly you know there's always an option so nice red gaming chair even your desk is kind of red is this the desk leg right here looks good man looks good I think you know what you need you need a, like a large ensemble one black and red desk mat let me let me break it down for you let me break it down. if I can if I can just take a moment to do a, a shameless plug that would make me very happy oh god we don't have the black and red ones in stock damn it um but once those are back in stock I would I think that would look perfect for your setup or if not that if you want to opt for a lower grade inferior quality mat that's also black and red you have that option as well. But I do think that you should get one that, that houses both your, 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 your keyboard and your mouse. Right now you've got this, this is a fairly large pad that you have here, but it's really not large enough or wide enough for both peripherals. And I think just getting one that, that is, serves as sort of a, a desk rug for both of them would really tie everything together. <sighs> Apart from that, cable management, you know, you just moved in, again, I get it. But when you're ready, pick this shit up off the floor, you know, mount it, mount it underneath your desk, like you said you were gonna, and uh, maybe tidy up some of the cables that are going on behind your monitor. And that that should be pretty good. I like your bird, it's nice, it's a nice bird. It's not red though, you should get a, you should get a bird that matches your setup, just saying. Hey, GMMK Pro, baby, let's go. Nice keycaps. I need to get some new keycaps. I wanna, I wanna switch mine out. Not for this guy. I love these keycaps so much, but for the uh, the black ones in the back there. Get some fancy keycaps. All right, going off on a tangent here. Wolfist, this is a month old, so I changed it a bit. I'm 15, I'm a 15 year old high schooler from the Philippines. I post content on TikTok. I love making videos and listening to music. I've been improvising or improving the setup for the last two years. iMac 27 5K 2020, Core i7 10700K, 40 gigs of RAM. So you've got two four gig sticks and two 16 gig sticks, interesting. Radeon Pro RX 5500 XT, one terabyte SSD. You got some audio stuff, some peripheral stuff, mostly used for school and editing and gaming sometimes using Windows Boot Camp. All right. So we've got a, is this a Hackintosh? Oh, you're just using a, an iMac. I see, you're using an iMac and you're technically a Mac setup, but with PC qualities. All right, again, you can always tell when someone's a content creator, if they do some kind of creative work, whether it's video editing, photo editing, you know, studio, like audio mixing, producing, this just looks like a creator's place, a creator's setup. And that's a good thing. It looks really clean, minimalistic. You got, you definitely have that Apple vibe going on. Obviously you've got the iMac, so that helps a lot with that. Some chunky bookshelf speakers, my God. Those things probably bring the house down. You have a nice stand for your headset or your headphones. Are those hi-fi mans? They look like they might be super sexy. You're 15 and you have hi-fi mans? The heck? What does mommy and daddy do for a living? Good God. Um, nice halo light here. It doesn't look like you stream though, because I don't really see, well, yes you do. What am I saying? You got a camera right here. At first I was, I was looking for a camera on like a webcam or something on the monitors, but you got a nice camera here, plus the halo light, microphone on a boom arm. What did you say you do? You do TikToks? You post content on TikTok. All right, so I wonder if you do it from your desk. Thank you for providing multiple angles. Damn, son, damn. This is super clean. Um, you do have a wall mounted monitor here, which matches up perfectly with your, with your iMac. That's a smart move, you know, because the iMac stand isn't very flexible. It can tilt. That's pretty much it. It doesn't have height adjustment from, from what I know. So at least you have an ergo stand on the other panel that you can use to match it up with, with your iMac display. Looks really clean. Almost looks, you know, at first glance, it almost looks like it's the same display, but then you like start seeing the bezel of the iMac and the stand and stuff. But really nice job syncing those two up. That could have gone horribly wrong. I also just love this room. This is a nice room. These windows are such a vibe. And then you've got this nice uh, Tom, Tom Clancy's poster here. I would say if the poster is in good enough condition and worth it, then frame it. it it'll make it look so much more just clean and professional. And if, if not, uh, just just get another poster, you know, and frame it. But the frame will, the, trust me, the frame will do wonders. It's amazing what a frame can do, as opposed to just like a piece of paper on your wall. Uh, apart from that though, dude, great, great job. Nice cable management. 
Look at all these trees, these lovely, beautiful trees outside. Makes me, I should go to the Philippines. I should visit there, never been. Excellent job, dude. Excellent, excellent. I, I love how, how like color neutral it is as well. And you still have RGB lighting behind the desk, kind of giving that nice illuminated glow. Um, but it's not, you know, it's, it's like a warm white. It's like a warm white color. It's not like blue or pink or, you know, green. Anything else I think would, would just not fit all that great. So let's see, you have another more angular picture here, just shooting up. I wonder if you took this yourself. I bet you you took this yourself. This this almost looks like it could be the same windows as, as these right here. If this is where you live, I, I hate you. This is an amazing view. Good God. All right, nice job. Nice job, uh, Wolfist. Totally Wolfist is his TikTok, if you guys wanna check out his stuff. I'm sure he makes some pretty good stuff at this setup. I would think for a setup like that. Speed of dish kebab. What a name. What does that mean? I'm not sure. But let's take a look at his build. There's no text, no context here. All right, sir. Uh, first things first, I don't even know where to begin. Cable management is, is an obvious one to start with. So what is this mess? Your, your front panel connectors are just like, like Tokyo drifting around your, your motherboard. And then it looks like they're all connected to the right spot, but why not pass those through the bottom cutout or even the cutout of your PSU shroud here? I, this just looks really messy. Kind of messy. And so does this cable. The fan cable on your rear fan is just draping over your GPU, hitting the, the floor of your power supply basement and then going to whatever header on the motherboard. Mm, I feel like there was a cleaner way to do that. So if there's a if there's a fan header, can we actually take a look? Enhance. Okay, you do have a fan header here, but that's being occupied by your Wraith cooler. If there's another fan header down here, so what you could do is you could actually run this cable. You should be able to run this fan cable underneath your graphics card. There's usually a little cutout right before the slot. Um, it should be right about here where I'm moving my mouse cursor. You should be able to pass that cable directly through it. It's a really thin cable. It should go through just fine. It fit and then plug it in to whatever headers down here. Any excess that you have, then just zip tie it up and then put it out of sight, out of mind. Maybe you could even like put it behind the GPU as well, or actually even better, put it behind the fan, put it uh, behind the fan in between the fan and the motherboard. But if you did that, it would look infinitely better than what you have here. This cable, these cables as well, gotta go, you gotta fix that. Everything else looks okay though. You know, I mean, it's it's definitely somewhat of a budget PC. It's definitely a budget case. So the interior is not, it's gonna be held back. The aesthetic is gonna be held back in that regard. It's, it looks like a very cheap interior. Um, MSI case, looks like these are MSI fans. So I'd imagine maybe it's an MSI, pre was this a pre-built? I don't know, I'm not reading chat. So uh, I'm sure that you might've provided that information, but whatever. Uh, also, why is there a fan missing at the front in the middle here? Did they originally come that way? Did, like, did the, were the fans originally mounted here or did you move one of them? Them to the bottom to get better airflow to the GPU where you're not seeing great temps in other configurations, I, I have questions. But at any rate, uh, if, if it's working, temps are good, then no need to change that. One thing that's, that's irking my OCD that I just noticed, and this is just a me thing, is that this AMD sign, this logo is upside down. I generally prefer to have this in the top left corner, um, but to each their own. If it doesn't bother you, it doesn't bother me. That's not true. It still bothers me, but again, I'm nitpicking here. All right, so this is a picture of your setup with not the best picture quality, so I won't spend too much time here. Cable management need, ha, leaves something to be desired. There's mom spaghetti for days behind your monitor. You also don't have a stand for your headset, or if you do, you're not using it. Why is your webcam crooked? My OCD, my OCD is peaking. Uh, I can't really tell much else about this setup, dude. It's kind of like zoomed in and quality of the picture's not great, but your PC has potential. Just needs a little bit of love. Blood Harmony, here's my setup with a brand new desk. It's got a 2060 Super with 16 gigs of RAM and 1.2 five terabytes of storage and a ninth gen Core i7. Also got a 144 hertz monitor, love it so much. All right, did you build this little desk area yourself? It looks very DIY. You've got two planks of wood mounted to the sides of each wall and then one big plank of wood on top that's serving as your desktop, the top of your desk. And then you have your desktop on the desktop. So it doesn't get much more simple than this, right? You have just the bare necessities, just the essentials, computer, monitor, keyboard, mouse, Mouse pad. I don't, I don't think you could really even have a good, a decent gaming experience without any one of these items. So it's very basic, very minimal, but that obviously makes it very easy to keep clean and keep it looking tidy. Cable management looks good. At least above your desk, it looks good. Can't really see what's going on underneath. From what I can tell, pretty clean. Looks like you probably do have some wires strapped to underneath this, uh, this wood panel. So that's good. And that's pretty much all we have to go off of. 
no pictures of the inside of your PC, no other angles, no other shots, but you know what? Solid, solid. I think what I would do next is get a headset. Do you have a headset? Maybe you maybe you have a headset, it's just not in the photo. If you can like put put that on a stand right right here in the corner of your of your setup, that would be good. You can even put it on top of your PC, you know, if you put put a stand on top of your PC, as long as it's not impeding airflow too much. This keyboard looks awfully cheap. I could be wrong, but it looks like a cheap looking keyboard. So maybe upgrade that at some point. I'd love to know your specs though, because maybe there's something more pressing that needs to be upgraded inside your build. Yeah. Thanks for submitting. Much appreciated. This is a nice setup, dude. Is this smearing off ice? Oh, so big. What do you mean by that? For shame. Josh, this photo, nice and red. Everything's very red. Spit in his face as he utters his last breaths on earth.